What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Coach Rob 619 back with another review and in today's review I'll be talking about my high-end niche summer fragrances. I talked about my low inexpensive ones and I talked about the designers so in this video let's jump right into 2019 best niche fragrances for the summer. Hindu Kush by Mancera coming in at number 10. Um, so far, so good. I like this fragrance. If you didn't tell me that uh, weed was in it, I don't know if I would pick that up. But since I know that the scent of you know marijuana is supposed to be in this, I am kind of picking that up. But what I get is um, what I would imagine um, uh, fresh marijuana, uh, maybe the leaf or the plant. I don't know what that smells like. I'm just, I'm just, I'm assuming at this point um, because it doesn't smell like the room that I've smelled from weed. If somebody was smoking in this, this, or you know, around me, because um, what I get is a fresh uh, a fragrance, um, kind of sweet, a subtle spice to it, and you get like this green um, vibe, green leafy vibe. And what I'm thinking is, um, if that was the marijuana leaf like the pure leaf you know being grown um i think that's the aroma of what this probably would smell like so i if nobody told me or that that was in here um i wouldn't think and if you wore this you can wear this to work it's pretty it's pretty safe so i don't think anybody i mean if you sprayed this on 10 sprays and you went to work and just went somewhere around a crowd of people i don't, I don't think they would tell you that oh yeah that smells like uh, you smell like marijuana today you smell like you've been smoking some weed so um, don't be alarmed. Don't be scared off by this fragrance um, <clears throat> because of the name. Because this is really a safe fragrance. Um, um, you know, almost office appropriate. Um, great smell. Um, definitely great for the summer. Um, so try it out. Hindu Kush by Mancera coming in at number ten. Now well, coming in at number nine. One I think you're probably familiar with. Um, by Rados Bald Air Freak. One of the best citruses from this house. One of my favorite citruses. Um, love wearing this one all year round. But definitely always pick this one up for the summer. Um, you're going to get a sweet praline kind of vibe with a great citrus on top of that um decent performance and compliment monster right here man if you haven't tried this one out try it out bought that free coming in at number nine now coming in at number eight montal's aqua gold great fragrance by this montal house um they always put out fragrances that perform so when you get, get a fragrance from this house it's going to perform it's going to last all day and that's definitely what this one does which is great for an aquatic most aquatics and citrus fragrances don't last that long but with this one you get a nice marine salty vibe somewhat floral i don't know if any florals are in the notes but it gives a little subtle floral um vibe in there with that citrus and that aquatic vibe on the marine note uh smells great definitely gonna get a lot of compliments with this one uh, one of my favorite aquatics. I absolutely love this man. So um, if you haven't already tried this one or you know tested it out, give this one a spin. Aqua Gold, great release from the Montel's office in my opinion. Perfect for the summer. Now coming in at number seven, this is a fragrance that probably wouldn't be on most people's summer's list, but for me this just does well on my um, skin during the summer. Um, it probably would do well in winter and fall um, where it smells. And that's Baltito de Ali. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But this is a great fragrance. What I get from this is a nice uh, sweet citrus, like a creamy uh, creamy orange citrus with florals, um, vanilla in it. Um, it just smells clean, somewhat almost even a soapy vibe as it dries down. It just smells clean, pleasant, um, somewhat light in projection, but it's but it's 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 a great you know complex scent. You get a, a lot of different variations. Um, as this, this bounces off your skin throughout the day. Um, great compliment getter. I doubt anybody around you is going to be smelling like this one. Um, lasts all day. You probably get about 10 to 14 hours out of this. Probably two or three days if you spray it on your clothes. Um, great performance beast. And it just smells well. Um, like I said, even if you're looking for something for the winter or fall, let me to those one. But for me, I like it also in the summer. Um, it just blasts off my skin. Compliments come. Um, and it just smells great, man. It's a pleasant smell. Look into this one if you haven't already. Now coming in at number six, Rosa Dove's Elysium. Now this one right here, we all know, yes, it does smell like a vintage, but this one is a cologne version, but this one smells a little different. It's, it's much lighter. Um, it has a, a more fresher vibe. I get more of a, like a citrus, 
an apple vibe than I do pineapple like you get in Aventus. So it is a little bit different and it's kind of much as like sparkles off my skin, man. Definitely a compliment getter. Um, it doesn't last that long. I'm getting like maybe four hours with it, but it does smell pleasant in that four hours. You will get compliments, perfect for the summer. Usually wearing it in the summer in high heat um, gives it a little bit more longer, you know, uh, longevity last time on your skin. So um, definitely try to wear this on one of those, those super scorching hot days wherever you're at. Um, this one does good, and like I said, you're going to get compliments with it. Just great, great juice. Roja Dove's Elysium Cologne. Now, coming in at number five, to me, this is one of the most slept on fragrances from this house, and that's Amorous Ohm from the Mason Francis Kerjohn house. One of my favorite from this house. Pretty much nobody talks about it. Um, smells great. I can't even pronounce it, like, really describe this one, but it's sweet. It has, like, a cocoa vibe to it. Um, it has a nice citrus. And it's just well done, it's unique. It, I can't really, like I said, I can't really describe what this one smells like. Um, just know you're gonna smell, you're gonna stand out, you're gonna smell good. Um, try this one out, one of my favorite from the house. You can't go wrong with this in the summertime. Now, coming in at number four, this is, was my favorite citrus of all time. Um, it's recently been replaced by my number three on this list. But um, number four is Zerjoff's Neo. Uh, as we all know, one of the best citrus in the game. Um, this one is true to form, true life, you know, art in a bottle, real citrus. Like when you're looking for something that smells true to form, this is it. Look no further. Um, but with that said, it's kind of harsh. So it's real, it's a, it's a harsh, zesty, um, you know what I'm saying, sour kind of citrus. Um, kind of rough around the edges and it has like this um, herbal green note to it, but it's beautiful. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, one of the bangers for the summer. So if you're looking for a great citrus for the summer, look no further than Zerjoff Neo coming in at number three. Now coming in at number three, like I just said, a replacement number four is my favorite citrus right now. And that's Tom's Ford Rive de Ombre. Great fragrance. And like I said about Neo, um, Neo is kind of rough around the edges, real zesty, kind of sour, authentic citrus. Well, this is a toned down, smooth citrus. I think that amber kind of rounds it out and gives it a smooth, real sweet, almost like a tangerine, mandarin kind of vibe. Um, with that amber on top, it just smells great. Um, not a super great performer, but you will get about five to six hours out of this one. Um, the hotter it is, the better this does, because that, that heat has it projecting off your skin, gives it a little bit more longevity. Um, but this is a great citrus, my favorite citrus right now. Tom Ford, Reed Ombre, coming in at number three, check it out. Now coming in at number two, this one's for the true niche heads out there, the people that are looking for the true artistry. When it comes to their perfumes, you want something to set a, set a tone, set a scene, um, a memory or something like that, um, something a little bit daring, more you, you know unique than, than your, your, your everyday designer. Um, that'd be this one right here, Terranico, I think is how you pronounce it. And this is probably the most authentic aquatic fragrance that, that I've smelled. Um, not my favorite, but, um, and that's because it is true to form. It is real authentic. And what I mean by that, you kind of get the, you get that ocean water. That's kind of like, if you're at a beach, it's kind of salty. It's um, kind of fishy, um, has that seaweed vibe. Um, the air, like everything you, everything you would get from a beach, you get from this fragrance. And um, it's not as wearable as some of the other stuff on this list are my number one. But if you're looking for true aquatic, True to life, you're gonna just imagine the beach. As soon as you spray this on, or the ocean, as soon as you spray this on, look no further than Terranico, my number two aquatic. Now before I get to my number one, I wanna shoot a shout out to Holzer and Watches, House Out of Australia, makes great watches. They sent me two watches, actually. I'm uh, probably do a review on my other one, but um, this one I've been rocking. Um, people seem to like it. They make their watches um, out of real wood. Um, nice, nice construction um, of their watches. Absolutely like this design. Um, give you a closer look at it and let me know what you think. Now, coming in at my number one fragrance I fell in love with. I got a sample a couple of years ago and I knew I had to get a bottle. I had to own this fragrance. And now I do. And that is Healy's Cell Marine. Um, one of my favorite, not one of my favorite, this is my favorite um, aquatic. Um, unlike number two, even though this still smells uh, true to form. Um, it's, it's a great airy aquatic marine. You get the saltiness, you get everything you would get from a beach. It still has a cologne vibe, like a you know a perfume vibe, and um, it's, it's sweet. It's it's it's, it's um, crowd pleasing. It's compliment getting. Um, 
and that's what separates the two of them but this smells absolutely amazing this is what i always rock i rock this all year here in my you know my climate but um this is my favorite go-to especially for the summer when it gets real hot i'm spraying this one on you can dress it up dress it down um definitely a compliment getter it's kind of powdery too that's what um, the other aquatic i just spoke about doesn't have this has like a powdery um a clean vibe uh to it and it just works well and my favorite number one Fragrance for the Summer 2019 niche list. He leaves Cell Marine. Um, check it out if you haven't already. But depending on what the ladies say, tell us what I spray. Peace.